All right, a lot of people going to be working out in Southside in their yards. This is prime time for getting out there and doing a little spring cleaning. Sure is. Here with the dirt on giving your yard a fresh look, Mike Brunk for Landscape Recycling Center in Urbana is here. So let's talk a little bit about the Landscape Recycling Center and what you all do over there. All right, well, we take yard debris that used to go in the landfill and we recycle it and we return it to the very land that it came from, closing the recycling loop. What is land debris exactly? It's yard waste debris, it's twigs, it's leaves, it's grasses, it's a herbaceous material that generally was considered waste. Hmm. We no longer consider it waste, it makes a good product, we process it correctly into natural fertilizers and soil amendments. So wow. Instead of putting it in a landfill or burning it, right. this is a, a great option. Okay, so how does it work? Okay, once well, you get it. What, well, once we get it, we process it with uh, different pieces of equipment. Okay. Uh, we started out processing brush into various kinds of mulches. Uh, we process leaves and grass into our screen garden compost. Huh. And since the beginning, we've really increased our recycled products for um, uh, tenfold, I would say. So now we have uh, recycled granite material, which is really neat stuff. Hmm. We have uh, asphalt millings that come from um, milling roads for um, re re repairing roads. What is this we're looking at? Okay, well, we've got, uh, I've got a, a lot of our new products. So that's, uh, that's the recycled uh, asphalt millings. Makes uh, great material for driveways, uh, uh, fence post collars. The cool thing about the recycled uh, asphalt millings is that in the heat of the summer, and under pressure of tires, it will harden just like an huh. asphalt driveway. Wow. So it's great material, and it was being disposed, and we've taken it and made a good product. Well, to well okay, we're yeah. looking at these things. Let's go through them one by one. Let's start down here, Mike. Screened compost, one of the things that you offer there. Yeah, it's very friable. Uh, the screened compost is an excellent material for amending clay soils because it adds porosity to clay, and a lot of us in the new subdivisions deal with clay and not being yep. able to grow things. Yeah, and then the next one is just regular dirt, right? The next one's regular dirt. You see how that's cloddy? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's nice topsoil, but it's not as friable as the compost, so... Right. Um, Mixing it up here is what you'll get. Now, what we've done is we've here. taken topsoil that comes in as a disposal product and our compost, we've mixed it together and we screen it. And it's called pulverized topsoil. So the beauty of it is that it's really easy to work, no clods. Yeah. It has the structure of soil, but yet the friability of compost, so it's a great product. Well, What's and this? as an arborist, you know exactly that you need that loose dirt for the, for the roots to get down and take That's hold, right. right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Look at you, Mr. Arborist. <laughs> <laughs> What's the red stuff right here? Okay, now that's a really cool <laughs> product that we discovered. Um, it's, from, uh, it's a waste product from granite mining up in Minnesota. Now, the cool huh. thing about this, uh, and it's called uh, uh, Red Granite Finds. We actually have orange as well. Uh, the cool thing about this is it, it's angular in shape, and it's got different size aggregate, and it packs as hard as a concrete driveway. But yet you can dig through it with a round-point shovel. Why so, would you want that? Well, the people up in Minnesota, because it's readily available, use it for driveways. Uh -huh. okay. What we use it for here is pathways. It makes a great pathway. It's easy to put down. Looks like a red brick pathway. A lot easier to, to install. Sure. But yet, you know, if you needed to get under that for uh, utilities or what have you, you can dig right through it with a round point shovel. Okay. Really? Hey, something new you've got going on. Okay, street bricks. Right. That's right. So Broadway Avenue Urbana was redone. And uh, they, tor they took the bricks out. Uh, the city took half of them to stack aside for repairing other brick streets and gave us the Landscape Recycling Center the other half so we could return them to the community at a very cheap price. So people can come and get for 50 cents a brick in the what we call the U-Pick pile, which is a big win row of these brick, can come and get these brick uh, 50 cents each, or we have them stacked in lots of 250. Yeah. and they can buy them for a dollar each in, oh. in this pre-stack pile. Very cool. Now these things, because they're about four inches tall, three and a half wide, and about nine inches long. Those are the old school bricks. Yeah. They stay in place. Yeah. And so <laughs> people want to make patios, and some people have made driveways out of these things, It'll last a hundred years. Yeah. Oh and th my gosh, this heavy. is a great material. Or more. Material. Those are probably a hundred years as they are. Well, they, they were they were there a hundred years before they <laughs> wow. came. Yeah. How cool. And so you can get those and literally redo a driveway, or again do a path. Yeah. If you have something smaller. That, that's right. Well, and these millings, the recycled asphalt millings, make a great base to go under your brick. The bricks. Okay. Smart. Is that kind of what we're looking at right there? How someone can use those that's bricks? That's right. That's a patio that was made out of these broad Broadway street brick. Huh. 
That we got a little cool. piece of Urbana right there in the That's backyard. Right. That's, That's right. That's cool. Uh -huh. I love this that. Is right up, Matt Metcalf. Oh yeah, this is this is everything <laughs> I love. In life. So the Landscape Recycling Center. Oh, and what have you got in there? Okay, buckets. Uh, we will, uh, uh, people can buy a bucket at the Landscape Recycling Center oh, cool. with a sticker, an annual sticker of $15. They can bring the bucket back, as many as seven buckets in one uh, visit, and have them refilled the whole year for free. Wow. And then once they uh, run their year on their bucket, the next year they can get a new sticker for $8. Sweet. And so you just keep bringing your bucket back uh, and you get it filled for free all year long. That's awesome. That's what a great cool. deal. That's a, so it's our compost deal. That's uh, with the screen compost. So okay. so when people buy these things, are they buying them by weight? I know the bricks are a little bit different, but but how am I purchasing them? Yeah. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, you Most people buy it in the cubic yard. So we'll load pickup trucks, uh, mostly uh, semi-tractor trailers, if you will, grain trucks. But people can also buy them in the, in the bucket size or the 50-gallon a bag size. Yep. Uh, if they bring out their own containers, we have container prices. Some people bring their trash cans out. Okay. And well. so we really want to try to cater to anybody uh, and everybody on the amount that they would like. And I love what you said about the compost, but especially this mixed soil and compost for those new subdivisions where the ground is kind of eh. You want to get those gardens in? This yeah. Stuff, yeah. You know, the one last thing I like to say is that we're really trying to reach out past uh, Champaign-Urbana because Champaign-Urbana is pretty well aware of the Landscape Recycling Center. Uh, this is open to the countywide area. Nice. So we really want to reach out to the Rantouls, the Mahomets, the St. Yeah. Joe's. Or beyond. Come in. There We've you go. We've got great stuff here. <laughs> we Thanks, got bricks. Mike. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. For You're center welcome. hours and more, visit their website, landscaperecyclingcenter.org. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. That is everything I love. It is. Totally.